put it on and first off like I like this one so much better so you guys if you already subscribed to my channel or if you just frequently watch it make sure you subscribe but you guys know I reviewed a wig from your niece a V part wig it was highlighted like a couple months ago and literally I have not worn it since because I just felt like I couldn't really blend my hair with it so I decided to try the crochet method and y'all like I think this looks so much better than me literally trying to um blend my hair with this like it looks like a slow in um now this is also a kinkier curlier um a kinky curly wig as well so it would have probably matched my hair a lot better than the other one because i think the other one was just like a deep curly but i'm actually going to wet it just so you guys can see i had to cut some of it off and i don't know why it even really was acting like that i think because this wig is probably meant to be a, a middle part so it was kind of giving weird um but and then i did just my edges like literally something slight i didn't really try to swoop or do anything too crazy um but y'all this looks so natural this is so like me y'all know i love me some curly hair and this is 18 inches i wanted to go shorter this time around so that it looked more natural and of course i had to do a side part because i just think side parts look way better on me than um middle parts so this is literally the hair with all of it to the front like i said this is a kinky curly texture 
I will have the link to this hair down below. Um, uh oh, my bottle dropped, y'all. I will have the link to this hair down below if you do want to tame it. Like if it's too big for you, like you guys can see, that water helped tame it a lot actually. And then I'm also going to cut off these straggly ends. I really think this wig is meant to be a middle part, so that's why like some of it looks like longer on some parts of the hair. Um, but it's no problem. I'm just gonna cut it. And honestly, like if I do decide to ever wear it in a middle part, like having it be even shorter than this wouldn't be an issue or a problem for me. But y'all, this was like the easiest install. And crocheting the hair over the V part was literally the most amazing thing I think I could have ever done. Like you can't even see the tracks. If you can see the tracks, you're looking too hard because I can't even see it and I'm sitting here doing it. Like I'm looking at my scalp. I see my scalp. I mean, it is my scalp, but like you can't even tell and none of my hair is out. So this is like the most perfect protective style. And I'm pretty sure when I take it out, it's going to be easy to remove because I only looped it in once. So it's not like it's going to rip or tear in my hair. So yeah, hopefully you guys like this tutorial. I know it's short and sweet. It's just a very, very easy install. I don't know what to really say. Um, I want to thank Eunice Hair for sending me this wig to review for you guys. And yeah, I don't know if I should cut more layers in it. I might just need to leave it alone because I don't know how to cut hair. But I like it. So I'm going to take pictures for the thumbnail. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.